The CompTIA A Plus certification is designed to help you land entry level roles in IT by ensuring you know the basics of working with hardware, networking, and computer systems. In this video, I'm gonna be discussing how the CompTIA A Plus has helped me in my interview and application process of getting my first job. Please enjoy. As the CompTIA A Plus is one of the most popular entry-level certifications, if you're just entering IT with no experience, it's one of the certifications that you should be looking at. It's very helpful in learning the basics of things like networking, operating systems, and hardware components. The CompTIA A Plus was one of the first certifications I looked at when I was trying to get into the IT industry. It really helped me to build my foundational knowledge and also helped me to get my first job. I've made one or two videos on the CompTIA A Plus already about how I passed the core one and also how I failed on my first attempt. Be sure to watch those ones after this. So here's how the CompTIA A Plus has helped me in my interview and application process for my first ever tech job. As I mentioned in previous videos, I found this job through a recruiter on LinkedIn. When I first started studying for the CompTIA A Plus, I was still at university studying business computing. I had little knowledge of IT and hardware components, and I didn't know or really understand what it would be like to work in the IT industry. I first studied and took the core one. On the first attempt, I failed by a few marks. I then took the exam again shortly after and passed. As for the core two, I never ended up taking the core two, but I did study for it for a while, and I definitely learned and took the knowledge from it and applied that to my interviews. Despite not fully completing the CompTIA A+, the certification still really helped me in my first career job search. After taking the Core 1, I put in my CV that I had completed the CompTIA A+, Core 1, and I was preparing for the CompTIA A+, Core 2. Even if you haven't fully completed a certification, it's important to put the parts that you have completed and also the parts that you're preparing for. It shows the employer that you're proactive and you're looking to grow and increase your knowledge in certain areas. I found this job on LinkedIn using a method which I explained in my previous video. I first had an initial call with the recruiter to get to know me, some of my skills, and to get to know if I was interested in the role also. The role was an IT operations engineer. The company were looking for graduates to add to their team that they'll be able to train up and equip the skills to handle their systems and their processes. After speaking with the recruiter, he was happy to move me through in the applicant process and I was happy to go along to the next stage. For the next stage of the interview process, I was sent about 10 technical questions which I had a day to write my answers on. I was given no specific amount of words that I should write. So I kind of had to use my own judgment for this. The exercise was sent to me so it was quite open and I could use the internet to answer these questions. However, next stage was an actual interview where I would have to describe my answers to the hiring manager in a lot more detail. As someone who had no experience with working in tech, I was quite nervous about these questions. I wasn't sure if I'd be able to answer them. Although I had the internet, I wasn't sure that when it came to the interview, I would be able to explain these questions to the hiring manager in more detail. But to my surprise, when I was looking through these questions, the majority of those questions were to do with hardware components and networking and things that I'd covered in the core one of the CompTIA A+. And I'm gonna give you an example of some of the questions they sent me. I'm also gonna give some of the answers. Please bear in mind, when I did answer these questions, I had no experience in IT, so don't judge me in the comments but I'll skim through them and you guys could tell me what you think or even how you would have answered them. So here's one of the questions. A computer is not starting. Please describe how you would find out the root cause of the issue. And I'm gonna skim through my answer, not in full detail, but I'll put my answers up so you can see them a little bit better. So my answers were, the first step to finding the issue would be to question the user, ask questions such as when was the system last used, what it was being used for, things like that. The second step would be to create a theory. I would do this by thinking to myself, what are the most likely causes of the issue, etc, etc. The next step would be to test the theory that I thought of. The battery is working, trying a different outlet, charging the device, or any other theories I would have thought of. If none of those theories are correct, I would return to the second step. Once I've reached this stage, I would have figured out the root cause of the issue. Further steps would include establishing a plan of action, verifying full system functionality and documentation. 
All of these steps and all of this knowledge I gained from courses studying for the core one of the CompTIA A+. If I hadn't taken the certification, I wouldn't have known any of these answers. Another question they asked me was, what was the last computer you built and what did you put in it? Now I found this really funny because they literally assumed that I'd built a computer before, which I hadn't. I could have easily lied to them and say I bought this tower and I put in this amount of RAM and I bought this CPU for my gaming setup or something like that, but I wasn't going to do that. I was going to be honest and say that I'd never built a computer before, but there were some things that I'd done practically while working on the CompTIA A+. And that is what I use for this question. So here's how I answer the question. In all honesty, I've never built a PC from scratch. However, I recently disassembled a computer to explore its components. I will use this question to discuss the nature of the components of that PC. This exercise I literally did because of the CompTIA A+, and because of all the things I was learning, I was learning about RAM, I was learning about CPUs, and I wanted to explore and see those components within an actual laptop. So I had an old laptop lying around, I literally broke it apart, and I looked at the RAM, I looked at the HDD, I looked at different parts of the motherboard and the chips on it and that sort of thing. Instead of answering the question as a lie, I use this instead. If you guys want to go through my complete answer, if you really like the detail and you really like that sort of thing, then you can pause the video here and go through it. I also made sure to put up some pictures on there to make sure that they knew that I was being legit and I actually did these things. Another question I was asked more on the networking side of things was what does DHCP stand for and how does DHCP work? If you understand or have worked with networking, you definitely know what DHCP is. It stands for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. And DHCP is basically in charge of assigning IPs to um, devices on your network. Again, I'll put my full answer up. And if you want to go through it in detail, just pause the video here and read it if you really like to. <laughs> So after those questions, I answered a few other questions. There are about 10 in total. And I wrote out all of my answers. I submitted the document to the hiring managers in preparation for my interview a day later. At the main interview, the hiring manager read through my questions and asked me to elaborate on these questions in detail. As I mentioned before, it's easy to use the internet to find answers on different things. But when it comes to elaborating and showing your true understanding of a topic in tech, you do have to have some solid knowledge on it. So when he asked me these questions and asked me to elaborate, the answers I had for him were all based on what I had learned in the CompTIA A+. Remember that before the CompTIA A+, I had very limited knowledge of hardware components, networking, and computer systems. All I had before then was some of the things that I'd learned at university, which to be honest, was very basic, very non-practical, and not things that I would ever come across in the CompTIA A+, or in the real working world. And so the content of the CompTIA A Plus was perfect for helping me to secure my first job in IT. After I went through my questions in the interview, they called me back for a second interview where they went more deeply into their systems and how to work with their stuff. And once I completed that interview, they offered me my first ever tech job as an IT operations engineer. So in summary, the content of the CompTIA A Plus really matched up to the content of my interview and application process which was the biggest part of helping me to secure that first job. And so I can say from my experience that the CompTIA A Plus is definitely a great foundational certification and is great for helping you to secure that first role or any entry level role in IT. It's also not just helpful for entry level roles, but it's also helpful for roles beyond that. Roles that involve hardware, speaking to customers, technical support and things like that. The CompTIA A Plus would probably be the ideal certification that you'd be looking towards. But thanks everyone for watching. This has been how the CompTIA A Plus has helped my interview and application process. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.